So that's about it, man. Basic calisthenics, fundamentals. You start with the basics. Stop watching what everybody else is doing. Oh, he can do a muscle up. Oh, he can do 300 and 400 sit-ups. Oh, he can do this. Oh, he can do that. He is not you. You have to start from somewhere. Everybody excels according to what Allah has legislated for that person. You can't rush. <laughs> Hey yo, what's going on everybody? So today we're going to do a beginning calisthenics workout. A lot of people on YouTube, Instagram, you name it, they've been asking me. Yo, we need a beginning calisthenics. So for the beginners, I'm going to tell you to do this. Get you a pair of rings and get you a resistance band in order for you to begin calisthenics depending on your level. Because everybody is not going to start from where I'm gonna start from, or where I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna start you from the beginning. So check this out. Uh, we just finished doing sets, so I'm breathing a little heavy. So go on Amazon, get you the extra heavy, all the way to the extra light. For resistance bands, about $30. Get you the rings for about $15. And I was gonna do this in home to show you the makeshift, I mean the real pull-up bar and everything. So what I'm gonna do is after this, I'm gonna actually show you all the equipment you need to start calisthenics. Right now we're in a park and they don't have no dip bars. So we're gonna be using the rings. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna start out with the hardest one, which is the pulls. Everybody has trouble with pull-ups. Unlike me and a few people that I know, they're stronger in pull-ups than push-ups. If you see my push-ups, my push-ups is not strong as they should be. My pull-ups are more strong. So we're gonna start off with the basic pull-up. But first, let's say you're 350 pounds, you're 400 pounds. Not everybody gonna be able to start with a Australian pull-up. So I want you to start with these. And this is what's good about the rings because you can start them at any height. So let's say you're really that heavy and you can't do pulls, start on your feet. Now check my feet out. See that? Okay, now look, look up. So now you're using your feet and then also your back is activated. So you're going to be actually using your quads as well as if you're using the quads to also assist you with the pull. So if you're using more upper body which is better and you're using your quads actually to help you, once you build up that strength and once it's easy for you, then I want you to go to the Australian pull up. So, What you're gonna do is you're gonna lower the rings, turn it straight. Yeah, you're gonna lower the rings. And remember, like I said, we're starting from somebody that's maybe two, 300 pounds and can't really hold their own weight. So now we're going here. Excuse me, y'all. They smoking in here. So now you're gonna start here now. The more horizontal you get, the harder it is. So you're gonna put your feet down and you can start here. You see that? Until this becomes light work. And then the more your lats and everything build up, then you wanna stretch your feet out more. So you want to go here, more horizontal. The more horizontal you get, the harder it is until 
until that becomes easy. So if you have dip bars in your park, then you can start on the dip bars if you have dip bars at home. You can start with that without having to buy the rings. That'll save you some money. But my advice is the rings are essential. So then the next move after that, I want you to kind of build up your scalpelers. That's the muscle in your back. And that's gonna help you with the pull strength. So what I want you to do is I want you to do isometric scalpeler holes. So I want you to do one, hold it for five seconds. Do two, hold it for five seconds. Do three. Now follow me. Watch my back. See that? One, two, three, four, five. Down. Then two. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Down. Then three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That's gonna build up your scalpelers. And it's gonna help you with your pull strength. I'm telling you, it's an excellent workout. It looks like nothing, but it's something. After those are built up, I'm taking you step to step to step. Not everybody has to start here. Some people just start doing pull-ups just like, like nothing. When it came to pull-ups, I didn't have to start from that first routine. I didn't have to start from people helping me and things like that. Everybody's different. So we're gonna go right here. And I want you to get that extra heavy resistance band. This is a must have. Extra heavy resistance band all the way down to the light resistance band. So you start with the extra heavy. And if you got one of those machines at the gym that helps you with the weight while you pulling up, you do like drop five pounds every week and do your pull-ups about four to five times a week or three to three to five times a week. So start with the extra heavy band. After your scalpel is a build up, you pull that extra heavy band, you put your feet into it. Then you start here with your pull ups. Don't go too wide, don't go too close, just break that shoulder width and you pull. Keep your head straight, start with the strict pull up. One, two, Three, once you start from that extra heavy all the way to the extra light and it starts to be easy, now you're ready to do a, a pull up or all body weight pull up by yourself. And how I want that done is just like how you did it with the resistance band. Even if you have to start with one, you go up. Hold straight, head straight, and pull. Down. Man, everything takes time. So now, what we're gonna do is, they don't have no dip bars here, but I'm still gonna go through the dip routine and show you how to get that first dip, and we're gonna use the gates. So let's go. So now you can find a bench or anything that's leveled, and we're gonna start here. And like I said, dips here first to build up those triceps. And if you can't dip and come back up, then you hold it. You just hold it, isometric hold. So we want you down here. Up. Two. Three. Then, once that get easier, like we said, feet further out. One, two, three. And like we said, once that get easier, feet more further out. One, two, three. Okay, so now we found this little gate here that we're gonna try to do some dips on. 
but we don't advise you to do it on this gate if you don't got no dips in your in your park and you're just starting dips we ain't trying to get nobody injured so if you've got regular dip bars this is good but this is where the resistance band again comes in handy start with extra heavy So come in. So look, we're gonna try the dips here. This is not really ideal for somebody starting dips because it's, you know what I'm saying, in like a, a arrow shaped. But when you get a regular dip bar, do the, uh, you can just put the resistance band over it like this, in between. And the more you do it like this, the higher the resistance band, the easier it will be. So start with extra heavy. And this is what you do. You hold on to it with your hands like this and you just jump into it with the with the with the with the regular dip bar obviously this is going to be a lot easier because of the fact that the level of the dip bar so you're going to go down and this is just going to easily propel you up when you got the extra heavy resistance band and like i said you start from extra heavy all the way to extra light and then once that becomes done and easy, then you remove that resistance man, that extra light one. And then you start with your regular dip. Try to keep your feet straight down. Uh, then you hear one, two, three. Okay, and we found something over here that's Similar to a dip ball, but it's short, so follow me. So with a regular dip bar, this is how it's going to look when you try it with the resistance band. That's how it's going to look. So if you go here, it's going to be harder. The, sh the more straight it is, it's going to be easier. And then that's going to just propel you up. You feel me? It's going to propel you up. So that's how it's going to look. So that's with the pull-ups and the dips, which is basic for calisthenics. You have to get the fundamentals. So now, we're gonna give you the push-up. First thing you wanna do, like we said, if you 200 pounds, 250, 300, and you can't hold that weight, start high. So we're gonna start right here. It gets no higher than this. Incline. Start your push-ups here, incline. Proper push-up. Tighten that core. Head straight. Incline. If this is too hard, start with a higher surface. Or put your feet in more. Push. It's going to get easier and easier. And like we said, the easier to get, the lower you get. And the more horizontal you get to where you start doing it on something as small as this. Then you move down to something smaller. Then something even lower. Then you still might not be able to do it on the floor. So what you do, your knees. People think, oh, lady push-ups. Listen, those count. So there's a routine I used to do with lady push-ups while I was in the feds, while I was in prison. We used to max out on regular push-ups. And then once you hit your max, whether it was 60, 70, you would go straight into lady push-ups and try to do the same amount, no rest. So you would get into the lady push-ups. Same thing. And then eventually, proper push up. Okay, so if you're doing any of these exercises, we want you to start from the beginning and always just go to failure. Do all three of them back to back till failure and rest for about three to seven minutes. And you could do that three to five sets. But the last one I want to tell you is the legs. 
the proper squat. And why it's good? Because we just showed you something with the rings. If you can't do a squat, which everybody should be able to, because we use our legs for, excuse me, for mostly everything, so it should be the strongest. You want to start with the rings on your squats if you can't lift yourself up. Start with the rings. Just like you was doing pull-ups, if you can't do a proper squat, feet shoulder width apart, back straight. And try not to use no arm. As much as you are able not to use, do that. And then you get your proper squat in. You understand? Like you, 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 you barely holding on to the rings so that you're using mostly your quad. And then once that is in line, then you start doing your regular squats. And like we said, so that's about it, man. Basic calisthenics, fundamentals. You start with the basics. Stop watching what everybody else is doing. Oh, he can do a muscle up. Oh, he can do 300 and 400 sit-ups. Oh, he can do this. Oh, he can do that. He is not you. You have to start from somewhere. Everybody excels according to what Allah has legislated for that person. You can't rush. Take your time. Don't get hurt. Protect yourself so that you do not get injured. This is how you start calisthenics. And I'm going to be showing y'all the add-on video to the equipment you need from the beginning, intermediate, as well as advanced. So do all of this three to five sets and max out. And then the next week, start the next level if you're starting from the basics. Thanks, y'all, for tuning in. Indeed, in the body, literal translation is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh,